Central Arkansas opened in a man-to-man, -man, but they switched and carry. They could get to do a better job keeping the ball away from him, and now you see the pressure. Well, there's the big man for Central. Some offensive gifts. DeAndre Jones couldn't get it to go for Central Arkansas. And just because the shot is close to the basket doesn't mean it's a good shot. He has not been gun-shy so far. <laughs> Matthew Hurt. Trains a three. Now a freshman guard. That's just, that's just great defense by Jordan Goldwater. More on the shot fake. Back out for Hurt. Yes! Found a carry. Where the Bears just really seem to be in a big rush. Not only dribbling the ball, but anytime anybody catches it, they, it's like they can't get rid of it fast enough. Hurt with an easy two. Oh my. Lewis McDaniel, a freshman, not shy either. And Carey rips down the board. That was a long shot. And if that's the kind of shot you're going to get and take, it's going to be a long night. Hurt with two more. Four other players in his starting lineup who are all in the ESPN 100. Carey missed it, but Hurt followed it. And yes. Central Arkansas pushing it, and Moore tapped it away from behind. But again, you, you still have to be, even though Duke isn't pressuring you all the time, uh, they're not giving him a break on the, any sort of a defensive rebound. Uh, you got to fight all the way to try to get the ball up the court. I haven't seen many late shot clock scenarios like this. <laughs> There's a heart. I need a stepladder to get to 46 <laughs> inches. Absolutely, but when you can combine that explosiveness with the efficiency that he has shown so far, uh, here we're back to that lineup with the freshman and O'Connell. Stanley altered the shot of Kylie. Extra pass for Hurt. Florida State, and then they turned around and lost to Nichols State. Just have to be ready to go every night. Out of the timeout, Matthew Hurt with the base.